If you would like even more art and content from me, like bonus videos and coloring pages, I'm on Patreon. It is a good way to support me and this channel. You can also get my art as prints, t-shirts, stickers, mugs and so on over at my Redbubble store. Links will be in the description box below. I truly appreciate the support, so thank you! Hi everyone, welcome back. So let's open one of these. A new box, well it isn't that new, or I mean it is fairly new, it hasn't been out for that long. And I have actually opened one of these on my channel before, but it's been a while. And I think they looked a little different back then, I think it was just a white box. But this one is purple, I love purple. So this is Upgrade, the box with a bit of a pirate theme, at least on the outside. I think it's supposed to resemble like a treasure chest. It even got a little keyhole. Art supplies inside. Well, I hope they are delicious. Cast off, loosen the lines. You're getting closer. Thanks for having you on board, mate. There is a lot of writing on this box. Unbox your creativity. Time for art. So let's see what we have here. I really think the box is a fun little detail. We have a little scene. There is apparently something called the Upgrade Battle where you can win prizes. Yeah, some featured art and a little about the art supplies in the box. Won't look at that just yet. And yeah, we have a featured artist. I love crystals. Kind of reminds me of the art that I made in my previous video. Crystals and some leaves. Very pretty. So the upgrade featured artists are apparently called co-captains. So the co-captain of this box is Vimo Design. And here's where you can find them and their art. Just look how beautiful this is. Looks like we got some sort of watercolors. Oh, we got a little sticker sheet and a whole little pad of watercolor paper. Just gonna remove this very reflective plastic. The art space, fine art, watercolor pad. 15 sheets of a5 300 grams paper. Oh, it looks like we got some extra sheets of tracing paper. So yeah, there are these two sheets of kind of like parchment paper and then we got these two shiny papers. Oh, I got a little confused. There we also get two sheets of watercolor mixing palettes. So the translucent paper sheets are the tracing paper and these shiny ones will work as watercolor palettes. Now it makes sense. And here we have the watercolor paper, nice and thick. Now let's take a look at the actual art supplies. All right, so we have this package of Tricolor Aqua from Spectrum Noir. Ah, so these are kind of like the tri-blend markers that I've also tried on this channel before. They were alcohol-based, but these are water-based. I think they're supposed to be... Ooh, it got a brush nib. So I think they're supposed to be like watercolor markers. So basically in one pen we get three different tones. So in this one, for example, we got three different blue, teal, aquamarine and lake blue. Oh, and the pens themselves also seems to have a name. The purple one is rich floral, the green is botanic natural and the blue is cool marine. So we actually get nine different colors to play around with here. That is nice. Let's swatch them real quick. I always seem to forget how chunky these markers are to hold. That are some very pretty colors. A little darker than I thought they would be though. We have the blue. The markers are so juicy, they definitely got a watercolor look to them. I wonder if you're supposed to use these with water, like watercolor pencils, you know, or if you're supposed to just use them alone as they are, because there's no paintbrush in here, so maybe I'm just supposed to use them as as they are. Let's try to blend them a bit and see how that works. There is a little bit of a gradient going on there. Yeah, they are actually blending into each other quite nicely and it seems like the paper is holding up quite well. And then we have the Faber-Castell Echo Pigment Fineliner 0.1. And then we have this Pentel AL405 0.5. I really like this green. 
It's actually nice to get a mechanical pencil for once. The Phoenix is so chatty today. Then we have a drawing gum pen from PBO. Oh, I think it is Mosking Fluid. Oh yeah, you think that's a good place to be? You think that's a good place to be? Yeah, sure, why not? So we got Moskin Fluid in shape of a pen. Ah, and it looks like we got a spear nib, that is nice. Basically you put Moskin Fluid on the areas of your painting that you want to stay white as the paper to create negative space as it's called, so... And I thought I was going to swatch these, but I don't know if I can do that with you here. Oh, it only have a lifespan of six months once you open this, so be sure to use it up quickly. You have to go now. Bye bye. It doesn't seem like it is flowing out properly, or I don't know, or maybe it is. You can kind of see it a bit better once it dries though, so... And then I usually just take an eraser and erase away the masking fluid. I was a little impatient and the paint or the markers are still a little wet, but yeah, it's working. And also in this scene, you can read more about the art supplies and get some tips and tricks. And yeah, it looks like you can use these with a paintbrush, so I might try that too. And also I might mention that Upcrate is based in Germany, so it is an European box, which I do appreciate, but they do ship worldwide. Also, also, if you would like to try out Upcrate yourself, there will be a link in the description box below, along with a 15% discount code for you guys to use. It doesn't seem like there is any specific theme to this box, like a challenge or anything, so... Or maybe it seems like crystal clear might be a theme, so yeah. Maybe I will just do something else. But before we start, I just want to see how these are with water. Oh, look at that. Looks like they are fairly soluble with water, but what I think I'm gonna do is use one of these watercolor palettes and scribble on it and then pick up the paint from the palette, like I usually do with watercolor pens. Yeah, enough talking, let's paint something. So let me know, are you guys still excited about these unboxings and mystery art supply videos? There will be one that I am very excited about coming up in hopefully the near future. Can't tell you too much about it right now, but I know it will be amazing. Anyway, since it is still May, of course I'm gonna draw some permates, which for you who don't know are cat mermaids, just some goofy cute underwater kitties. I actually thought of making a permade mermaid prompt list, but I knew I wouldn't be able to participate myself each day, so I just didn't do it. But maybe for next year, perhaps, if I can remember it. If you like the idea, please remind me. I wanted to give this pyramid some fish-like staring eyes, which I think is pretty adorable to be honest. I went over the lines a few times with a fine liner just to build up the thickness and the line weight. It is quite a thin fine liner and I like my lines thick and juicy, but this is a great fine liner. I've been using them a lot before I moved over to the Unipin fine liners and the paper was really great too thick with just the right amount of texture. It was a very pleasant surprise to see that they included this shiny watercolor palette paper. It was really useful to scribble on with a marker and then I just used a paintbrush to pick up the ink or the paint. And I have used this technique a lot but then I usually just scribble on a piece of plastic or in a mixing tray. I think it was a very neat detail to have it included in a watercolor paper pad and I'm pretty sure I can just wipe it clean later when I'm done with it and just reuse it. Thank you. 
I took a little inspiration from koi fish for these pyramids doing this kind of spotty pattern. Some koi fish have a lot of white on them, so I left the upper part of the kitty white. It also gives them this classical mermaid tail where the fish tail ends around the waist. And I have to say, I am sometimes a little skeptical to watercolor pencils or watercolor markers. It just feels like they are a little unnecessary. I can just paint with watercolors directly, but since these markers are so watery or juicy, they look just like watercolors already when drawing with them, so combining them with the watered out paint from the palette and then using them directly on the paper, it worked really well. I drew directly with the pen when creating these little scales on the fin, and I think it added a very nice texture and additional contrast. You can really get a wide range of colors with these tri-blend aqua markers and I like it. So let's make another little mermaid kitty, and this one is a sleepy one. Cats have this ability of sleeping in all different kinds of weird positions, and I can imagine that pyramids have a bunch of weird ways of sleeping, because they aren't really affected by gravity the same way as normal cats. And for this one, I decided to switch up the colors a bit, so this pyramid is green. I really like this color palette, by the way, with the purples and the greens and the blues. And since there is this yellowish green too, I'm sure you can mix some sort of orangey tones too with a pink color. But yeah, I do think that this tri-blend marker concept is really neat that you get three different tones in one pen. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with them. I think my least favorite supply in this box might be the masking fluid pen. I don't know, I think the nib is a little too thin for my liking. And since it is a plastic nib with this tiny little hole in it, it does clog up a lot easier than the fiber tipped masking fluid pens that I've been using a lot. And it is drawing really small, it is only a 0.7 nib, so it isn't great if you want to fill in larger areas, but for this tiny little bubbles in the background, it worked pretty well though. I really love how this green little pyramid is turning out, so cute, the green tones look so good. I also added some purple and pink to the blue background just to add some more colors, and I think it looks really pretty. It got a rainbowy kind of vibe to it. I don't know if rainbowy is the word though, but now it is. I might draw some more mermaids before May ends, we will see. It is so fun to see everyone else's mermaids now in May, but I haven't really participated myself, as I said, but I am very happy that I got to draw these ones anyway, and I hope you like them too. Let me know, are any of you guys participating in Mermay? So yeah, thanks Upgrade for this lovely box, don't forget to check out the link and the discount code in the description box below, and thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!